Welcome back to Froggy Fest. It's story time with Grandma Kate. Today we're going to read the book where Froggy gets his new little sister. And of course, this one is called Froggy's Baby Sister. Do you have a little brother or a little sister? I can remember when my mom had my little sister and she brought her home on my third birthday. So I thought she was my birthday present. And I just love taking care of her. Looks like Froggy enjoys taking care of his little sister too. But let's see what this book has in store for him as they add a new family member. So it's called Froggy's Little Sister. Excuse me, Froggy's Baby Sister. And of course, this book is by Jonathan London. And the pictures are by Frank Remkowitz. So I hope you enjoy listening to this book. It looks like he might be a little unsure. You can tell by the look on his face. He might not be sure of what's going to happen when the new baby comes. I love this. Look at the mobile. It has all, all these kind of bugs on it. And so, of course, frogs love bugs. That would be very appropriate. Froggy woke up. Is this the big day, he wondered. He hopped out of bed and flopped to the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Good morning, Froggy, said his mother. Wow, Mom, said Froggy, your tummy is huge. Is the baby coming today? I hope so, she patted her belly and beamed. I want a baby brother, said Froggy. Sisters are great too, said Mom. But Froggy wanted a brother. He daydreamed about it all day. I will teach him how to swim. I will teach him how to play soccer. Froggy, called his father. What? I'm taking mom to the hospital. Max's mom will stay with you. And off they zoomed in a taxi cab. Froggy felt like he swallowed dragonflies for lunch. Max's mother tried to read to him, but Froggy couldn't sit still. She tried to play catch with him, but he kept falling flat on his face. Ooh, when will the baby come? He wondered. He wondered. He was excited to have the baby come. It's hard to concentrate too when you're waiting for somebody to tell you something good is happening. Finally, he dozed off under the kitchen table. Froggy, called his father. What? Come and see the baby. Froggy jumped up and hit his head on the table. Bonk. Then flopped to the baby's room. Flop, flop, flop. It's a girl, said Froggy's dad. A girl, cried Froggy. Yuck. Yeah, we did you say yuck too? That's a Dee Dee. She's a she's our baby sister. Her name is Polly Wagalina, said Mom, but you can call her Polly for short. Wah! cried Polly. Maybe she's hungry, said Froggy. Let's make her burgers and flies. Do babies eat burgers and flies? Soon, Polly was sitting on Mommy's lap, sucking on a bottle of cream of fly mush. Slurp, slurp, slurp. And babies don't have teeth to chew, so they have to drink. They drink first, and then they eat mushy food as they get older. Let me feed her, said Froggy. I can take care of her all by myself. Not yet, said Froggy's mom. When her legs are all grown in and she loses her tail, then you can take care of her. That's right. Do you know when um, baby frogs are first born, they don't have legs. They just have a tail. Do you know what they're called? Tadpoles. Yeah, but they're also called polywogs. Another name for a tadpole is a polywog. And that's why they named her polywogalina. You lay an Ina on the end of everything. That makes it a girl name like Angelina. Spring ended and summer came. Froggy wanted to teach Polly how to bounce on a pogo stick. Boing, boing, boing. But Polly was too little. He wanted to teach her how to jump off a swing. But Polly was too little. You can't do anything, he said. And he flew off the swing and landed in the pond. 
Splash. One day, Frogalina came to see the baby. She's cute, said Frogalina. Hey, let's play mommy and daddy. No way, cried Froggy, and he flopped away. Flop, flop, flop. Yeah, he doesn't want to play mommy and daddy with her. I think he pretends he doesn't like her, but I think he does. Summer was almost over. I'm tired of waiting, said Froggy. Polly is no fun. I'm going over to Max's and I'm never coming back. Froggy, called his mom. What? Wait. Mom unwrapped Polly's blanket. Legs, cried, cried Froggy, and her tail is gone. Yippee, now I can take care of her. Yes, said Mom. Here's her diaper bag. As soon as Mom went inside, Polly began to cry. Wah! I know, said Froggy, you're hungry. So he sat her down by the pond and said, watch me. And Froggy snagged three flies, zap, zap, zap. Polly flicked her tongue out too and caught her first fly, zap. That's pretty good, said Froggy, for a girl. Now, I don't like it when boys say things like that, like you do that well for a girl. She did it well, period. Doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. Wow! I know, said Froggy. Yeah, and he sniffed her diapers, sniff, sniff, sniff. Who yikes, cried Froggy, holding his nose. Polly Wagalita, you stink. So he lay Polly down on her back and tore off her diaper, rip. Then Froggy wrestled a new one on her. You ever tried to put a diaper on a baby that's wiggly? That's tough, but I like that he did it. He didn't take her into his mother to change the diaper. He did it himself and that's wonderful. Froggy, called his mom. What? Time to come in. Froggy flopped inside with Polly. Flop, flop, flop. Guess what, mom, said Froggy. I taught Polly how to catch flies and I put her diaper on all by myself. Froggy lifted Polly up and zoop, uh-oh, off fell her diaper. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. In this picture, you can see the artist made his face a little red. He's kind of embarrassed. He put that diaper on all by himself, but it didn't stay on very well, did it? That night, Polly wouldn't go to sleep. She cried and cried. Foo, 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 Froggy, wailed Polly. So Froggy flopped to Polly's cradle, flop, 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 and picked her up. She misses her big brother, said Froggy. Go to sleep, Polly Wagalina. That's so sweet. She was calling for him instead of mama. And Polly went to sleep in Froggy's arms. That's sweet. I think he did end up liking having a little sister instead of a little brother. I'll, I'll put the link to this book to our local library in the description of the video below. And I look forward to reading more froggy books to you. So until I see you the next time, have a great day.